welcome to our channel Essence is Jolly Paradise and this is Suhan Siva. Metals and minerals are very important and valuable asset to us in our day-to-day -day life which helps to build our community. To extract such metals like gold, iron, etc. etc. from the earth, many engineering and mining companies are involved and work together in exploring them and bringing to the consumer world. Some of the companies are still in operation while unfortunately some mining sites are closed and abandoned. Let's take an adventurous outback trip in Western Australia to explore these mining towns. The towns that we are going to explore lies along the Great Northern Highway and it's also known as the Miners Pathway. The mineral resources are highly concentrated in Western Australia and Queensland states. Therefore, Western Australia mining industry contributes around 70% towards Australia's economy. Since we are going on an adventurous outback road trip, we are leaving now early in the morning. Already we have loaded our car with all necessary required items for our trip like enough for food, drinking water, cooking utensils, bedding items like pillows, blankets, ground sheet, clothing, footwear, toiletries, um, camping equipment, picnic chair, tools for vehicle repairs and maintenance, fuel cans and electric spares. The mining towns which we are going to cover on this four day trip are Paynes Point, Mount Magnet, Q and Mikatara. Now we are heading to Paynes Point which is 430 kilometers away from Perth and is the first stop on Miners Pathway. It's such a wonderful scenery. The sun is coming up and it's so refreshing. Hey look there, escort vehicle is coming with alert lights which means oversized vehicle is going to cross now. We must prepare to stop and pull over to left. Here's the heavy vehicle passing through. It's safe to do so because they occupy most of the road. Since we are driving towards mining towns, we will see a lot of such gigantic mining trucks on our way, which is accompanied by pilot vehicles in front and back. It's nearly 8 o'clock. Let's pull over the car for breakfast when we find the parking area. These parking or resting areas are created along the highway for the travelers to refresh and stretch themselves. We are almost nearing Paynes Point. Now we have arrived at Paynes Point which was once a gold rush settlement which is situated in the Midwest region of Western Australia and it's approximately 430 kilometers away. It took us about five hours to reach here with stopovers. This town was named after Thomas Paney, who was the first person to discover the presence of gold in this area. What we see here is Paney's Find Gold Battery, which is the only attraction in Paney's Find. When we heard about gold battery, First, we thought it to be the ones used in electrical devices, but later we found that it's a gold crushing mill. This town flourished in 1930s and had the population of around 500. And in 1987, this plant was bought by Taylor's family. The lady whom we see in this picture is one of the tailors who ran the gold crushing plant. And she ran the show of taking us around the battery and explain the gold production process. Also, we came to know that this gold battery was the last gold battery in Australia. This battery also houses museum. Look through these artifacts on display, which are of historical interest related to mining and farming significant to this region. This town also holds roadhouse, which serves food and beverages, as well as fuel which has a funny note on it. Now let's continue our journey on Great Northern Highway to Mount Magnet, which is our next stop of Miners Pathway. 
it is around 150 kilometers away from Paley's Point. The presence of gold was discovered in 1891, which brought a big crowd of people into this town. And it still continues and survives the gold mining. It is the longest continuous gold mining center in Western Australia. We also found that pastoral activities are carried out and some of the largest sheep stations in Western Australia are around this area. Now we are taking a self-drive on Mount Magnet Tourist Trail, which is 37 kilometers from town center. Let's explore the places in this trail. Before the Europeans arrived, it was home to Badimaya Aboriginal people. Aboriginal people are the first people of Australian mainland. Look here, this drive takes us through old and new gold mine sites. This town lies at the foot of Mount Warambu Hill. The naturally formed cave that we see here is 3 billion years old, which has been formed after erosion for hundreds of years. Wow, look at another naturally formed structure that is amphitheater, which appears so magnificent, which are of granite rock formations. We can try our luck for gold prospecting and forsaking around this area using metal detector, but need to get permission from the local council. Mount Magnet has desert climate since it's towards inland. What we see here is Lenonville town site, which was abandoned at the beginning of World War I, since Australian army needed more people to participate in the war. We are finished with the trail now. Next, we are on the way to explore Dalgaranga Meteorite Crater, which is 88 km away from Mount Magnet. We are in the real outback covered with red sand and this unseen road, which is more suitable for four-wheel drives. This is the Meteorite Crater, which is located at the Dalgaranga Pastoral Station in the town of Yalgu. This is the smallest crater in Australia, which is only 24 meter in diameter and 3 meter deep. We will explore the other two towns, Q and Mikatara, along Miner's Pathway in the next video. Thank you all very much for watching the video and love to see your comments. If you like the video, please click the like button, do share. And don't forget to subscribe and click the bell button. I will see you all with the next interesting video. Until it's bye from Suhan Sivak.